Adobe just released the 2023 version of their Creative Cloud applications. And in this video, I'm gonna be going over my top five favorite new features inside Adobe After Effects. What's going on guys, John the Video Guy here. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I post After Effects and Premiere Pro tutorials. So if you're interested, be sure to subscribe and hit the like button down below. Now there's a lot of new features in After Effects and if you want to see all of them, I did provide a link down in the video description so that you can browse them. But as I go through the video, be sure to leave comments down below. What is your favorite new feature? Without further ado, let's dive into After Effects and see what's new. One thing you'll notice right away is when you create a new composition, there's actually new and organized presets. Under the presets menu, you can see that there's 1920 by 1080 options right at the top, and then your 4K options and even options for social media, which can really come in handy. Now this next feature is a little underrated, but it does come in handy if you do animate the position a lot. So if you make shapes and you find yourself animating the position parameter, sometimes you want to click P and then separate the dimensions by right clicking and clicking separate dimensions. But now there's a new feature inside After Effects that automatically does this for you. To get to it, go to After Effects Preferences General. And you'll notice that there's a new option with a check mark box that says default position properties to separated dimensions. And what this will do once you click OK, and draw a shape is when you click P on your keyboard, you'll notice that they're already separated for you. This feature comes in handy if you work a lot with lower thirds. And speaking about lower thirds, this next feature you'll really want to use, especially if you work with lower thirds a lot. Inside After Effects, the Select Track Matte Layer options is completely redesigned. You'll notice that now it looks completely different. It even has a dedicated pick whip tool that you can actually assign a mat to. You can also click the drop down arrow and actually choose which layer you want to act as the alpha or luma mat. And get this, one of the best features is that you can actually move the mat so it's not directly above the layer that it's referenced on. So for example, I have my name here and it's placed inside this shape layer mat. But if I click and move the shape layer down to the bottom, you'll notice that this isn't broken anymore. To switch from alpha mat to luma mat, click the button once to switch it, and this will switch it over to luma mat. And to invert it, there's an invert button right next to it. So that's how these controls work. Now one other cool feature about this is that you can actually create what's called like a master mat. It's essentially one mat that contains a bunch of layers. For example here, if I wanted to create a shape, I can create a shape and then put all these layers into that shape as an alpha mat. So I'll just select these Use the pick whip tool and select this as my mat. Now you'll notice that when we move this layer, all these layers are referencing the new shape layer as the alpha mat. Pretty cool, right? The next feature is really good if you want to organize your animations. So one other new feature inside After Effects is that you can actually colorize keyframes. For example here, if I wanted to organize this animation a little bit, I can segment the different types of keyframes during the animation. For example, I can select the keyframes for the beginning. I can right click and you'll notice that there's a new label section where you can actually label keyframes a certain color. So we'll label the intro keyframes as red and maybe this push in animation is yellow and maybe the outro is blue. Now what's really nice about this is that you can right click on a keyframe, go to select keyframe label group and you have a few options here. For example, you can click on all layers and we'll actually select all these keyframes with the same color. Now, for example, if we wanted to make this animation longer or shorter, we have them selected now and we can easily click option and drag these keyframes to make the animation shorter or longer. And I probably saved the best feature for last guys, wait for it. That's right guys, you can now export outside of After Effects with H.264 encoding. Now this feature used to exist in earlier versions, if you were around for that, but they took it away and now they brought it back. So you don't have to use any third party plugins to actually export out of After Effects directly in an MP4 H.264 format. If you're into After Effects and wanna learn more, I did make several tutorials on this channel. I'll link one that you might like right up there. Feel free to go watch that. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.